Hello and welcome back to Tingwinger 5. Today we're going to launch my new show, Crowdfunded, where we take a look at things raised on crowdfunding websites. We'll start off with the USB condom. This was raised on Crowdsupply, and I didn't actually back this at the time, but what I did do is buy them when they went into production. Originally this was on Crowdsupply, so it counts. Since their original crowdfunding, they've rebranded themselves SyncStop, which works, and it's compatible with all of your devices. So what we have in front of us here is 10 uncased and one cased. So let's take a look at the cased version and see what we're dealing with, how this thing works. So with the cased version, it's made in a nice plastic case. It feels quite high quality and it's a USB in and a USB out. Nice and simple, no buttons, no switches. Looking at the uncased version, it's obviously a little more complicated looking because it hasn't got the case on it. But from what I can tell, they are completely true to their word and everything lines up it is just a case on the uncased version. And as for the uncased version, very simple and it's board design, has nice shielding from either side, three resistors on the main board, and some IO ports at the top there, as well as your USB in and USB out. But the big question is what's the point? Well, Apple devices are really bad at this. When you plug them in, they start syncing up with your iTunes or whatever else you've got on your computer. And that can be extremely annoying, but that's stopped thanks to this, there's no data transfers. And as you can see, there is no additional power draw for this device. It runs very low power. Another major use case of these is these charge stations you see around. How can you be sure when you put it in that locker that it's not stealing all your data? Well, the answer would be don't let it. You don't have any data transfer capability. And that's what SyncStop would do. But something else interesting. Now, this is the main reason I actually bought a SyncStop is because if you take a portable charger, some portable chargers, and you try to charge some devices, it won't work. It doesn't seem to recognize that there's a device on the end. But if you put a sync stop in between, then it works. So in this case, I'm using a PS4 controller, and this portable battery would not charge my PS4 controller without the sync stop in the middle. So I put the sync stop in the middle, and now we can see it is charging. So I'll just take the sync stop out to prove there's no movie magic going on here. It does not charge without the sync stop meaning that you could charge any device by putting a sync stop in the middle. So Master Plug have made this USB power that I can't use for anything. But if I put two sync stops in those ports first, it works with everything. Now what I think is one of the most important parts of a crowdfunding exercise is that your product is very unique, it's very original. And with sync stop I think they've got that. I've seen these two products on the market that do a similar thing, but they don't advertise it as a security device. They advertise it as a fast charge device, whereas SyncStop is primarily to the security side of keeping your device from syncing with this unknown computer. Overall, I'd say SyncStop is very original with its idea. And now for the future of SyncStop. Well, there's one thing that we're missing. In these portable chargers, they're usually pre-cabled. Therefore, you can't put a USB Type-A in between them. So if they had more adapters, so an Apple adapter, a USB Type-C, there's no point going for a micro USB anymore would be good to see. Uh, make it a bit smaller. Uh, I don't see why it's quite that long. Overall, the project was obviously a success. I was able to buy it from their website and it works. So well done to them. Successful crowdsourcing campaign. So if you like this first episode of my new series, let me know in the comments and let me know what you want me to look at in the future. And follow me on all these social medias and you can let me know there too. Thanks for watching everyone.